Este es Bar a Fondo para la semana 12 de la Major League Soccer, que incluye los partidos jugados la última semana de septiembre. Soy Gregorio Parqui, director de videoarbitraje de Pro. En lo que va de este año, ha habido 73 revisiones por video durante los 182 partidos de la temporada regular, un promedio de una revisión cada tres y medio partidos. Esto es un poquito menos que el promedio de la temporada del año pasado. Diez de estas revisiones ocurrieron en la semana 12, que también presentó la situación muy inusual de tres revisiones en un solo partido, Chicago versus Houston. Y comenzaremos bar a fondo allí, con este penal sancionada por una infracción por mano cometida por Maynor Figueroa de Houston. I'm trying to find your best angle. Marcos, you're calling PK here for handball, is that right? Heck yeah. Bottom left is probably your best angle. Uh, what is it called? Okay, Marcos, I'm going to recommend an on-field review for no penalty, and I'll show it to you when you get to the monitor. Which angle would you like? Oh, yeah, so yeah, show sure. me the knee first. Yeah. The big thing here is he plays it with his knee first, okay? So with the new handball law, this is a play-in. He's playing it. It's not something that's come from... He plays it first and then it goes up to his hand, if you know what I'm okay. saying. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I see what you're saying. Dude, I'm, I'm going to go with the, so I'm not, we're going to cancel the penalty kick. It would be a, it'd be a drop ball then. Drop ball to the goalkeeper. And, but it was, Correct. yeah, to the goalkeeper. Drop ball to the goalkeeper. Figueroa había jugado la pelota con su muslo directamente a su mano. Y no se considera infracción. Cuando el balón toque la mano o el brazo, si proviene directamente de la cabeza o el cuerpo del propio jugador. El árbitro fue correcto en rescindir el penalti y reiniciar con un balón a tierra para el portero. Más tarde, en el minuto 41, Mihailovic de Chicago anotó este gol con un disparo desde fuera del área. We got a check interference. Okay. Yeah. So do you want to check the proximity of number 21? Yeah, we're looking at it. Where are the wiggles? Where are the wiggles? Yeah. Yeah. View for offside for that line of sight. Which angle? Okay, he's offside. The top right line of sight. You're there. Okay, so look, this is the kick point. You can see the defender is right in front of that goalkeeper. Okay. I'll play it through for you here too, but you can see. So you see he's in the line of sight very clearly and yeah, very yeah, close. He's looking around. Great stuff there, Dave. Yeah, and then it's close. just uh, it's a, it's a slight delay on it, but I think it's the yeah. right decision for offside. Fabian Herbers estaba parado en una posición de fuera de juego en el momento en que se tomó el disparo. Como estaba directamente frente al portero de Houston y muy cerca de él, cometió una infracción por fuera de juego al impedir que el portero pueda jugar el balón, obstruyendo claramente su campo visual. El árbitro rescindió correctamente el gol y reinició con un tiro libre indirecto. La última revisión en este partido ocurrió cuando el portero de Houston, Marco Maric, Atajó este penalty por Sapong de Chicago. Hold for me, we gotta check this quick. Happy with that kick point. Yeah, Hold it, Marco. Hold it. You're, you're left 18, bottom left. No, 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 we're check. We're gonna check. We're gonna check. We're gonna check. We're gonna check. Marcos, I'm recommending an on field review for the goalkeeper coming off the line. Let me know when you're there, Marcos. Let's get the restart right, okay? Yeah. Okay. It's just retake. There you go. It's a retake. He left the line. Los VARs se involucran en casos de adelantamiento solo si el tiro penal es atajado. La imagen de Marich sin al menos un pie en o sobre la línea es clara y obvia. Y el árbitro ordenó correctamente que se repite el tiro penal. En Atlanta versus FC Dallas, el VAR recomendó una revisión 
para un tiro penal después de esta jugada. Okay, let me tell you what I saw. Yes. For me, his arms out a little bit. He yeah. heads it down himself, but comes off the ground. Where's the best angle? And headed into his own arm for the oh. barrier. For me, it's somewhat natural, and he headed into himself. So you, got, you got top left? No, I need a better angle. Yeah, don't right there, right there. Let me see it. Slow it down, slow it down. All right, just talk to me and tell okay. me you're still checking. Yeah, I'm still checking. I'm still checking. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. He's checking. It's as slow as... No, he, he doesn't. Me. He's he doesn't checking it. He's head. checking it. He's checking it. The description of you hitting the ball into his head and then into his arm is not there. I'm going to recommend a review. I'm going to okay. recommend a review for a penalty kick. Okay, you recommend a review. Yeah. Here we go. Yes. We're going to shoot this. I'm here. Here. looking at the screen. Let I'm me know when you get there, Timmy. I'm here and I'm ready. Okay. Here, relax. Go back further. Go back further. Does it come off? Seven. Go back further. Go back further. Oh, slow, slow. slow as possible. Down. And he doesn't head it into his own. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yep. So he never makes contact with his head. Never makes contact with his head, and he leaves his own mouth. Making himself bigger, yep. and the attacker is right there. Yep. Yeah, yeah I got handball then, because he never heads it, right? I, I think he heads it originally. But yeah, yeah, no, he doesn't. That's what I was looking for, to see a little deflection. Yeah, All right, so confirm the, uh, you got a PK? Caution, no caution. No caution, correct. El árbitro había pensado que Hedges había jugado la pelota con su cabeza. Sin embargo, el VAR tenía un ángulo que mostraba claramente que la pelota había sido tocada por su brazo y al mismo tiempo consiguió que su cuerpo ocupe más espacio. Y esto era una clara y obvia infracción por mano. Este fue un buen uso de video arbitraje para detectar una infracción que estaba escondida de la vista del árbitro. En Portland contra Seattle hubo una recomendación para dar una tarjeta roja por conducta violenta, después de este enfrentamiento entre Bonilla de Portland y Ruiz Díaz de Seattle. Okay. I need a look at him. Yep. Al, what's your decision on the field? Uh, the yellow card for the the deliberate hold. A uh, yellow card for for uh, number nine, Raúl. Okay. Uh, I'm going to recommend a review for violent conduct by number nine. Okay. You want to confirm your phone? Which angle you want me to use? Uh, bottom right. Bottom right. Almost there. Okay. Let me know when you're there, Alan. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. Do you need full speed? I'm good with the yellow. Yeah, I got it. So good with the yellow. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Sticking with my yellow. El VAR recomendó la revisión porque sintió que Ruiz Díaz usó fuerza excesiva cuando no estaba disputando el balón. El árbitro, después de ver la jugada en la área de revisión, decidió quedarse con su tarjeta amarilla. Según el protocolo de video arbitraje, el árbitro siempre toma la decisión final. Después de un análisis posterior al juego, Pro considera que esta situación se trata de una correcta recomendación de revisión por video, que debería haber resultado en una tarjeta roja. Esto es VAR a fondo para la semana 12. Para más información sobre Pro y video arbitraje, por favor visite ProReferees.com.